Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is on my iPhone 6 and I cannot wait to show you guys. I absolutely love this thing. It's amazing. So my case I have on it now is the Incipio case and this thing is so awesome because it has a little handy dandy holder back here. It's like for your cards and stuff and it will just hold up to about four cards and it's so easy if I don't want to bring my wallet I can just bring my phone. Just hopefully I don't ever lose my phone or no one steals it. So this is my iPhone 6. I just have a picture of the beach on the background. I love the beach and so I think I took that picture in Jacksonville, Florida so I just keep it on there. Um, this is what is on my phone. I have like the basics up front. Weather, mail, messages, music. My favorite app on this first screen is my Bible app probably. It is the YouVersion Bible app and it's free and I love it and you get new Bible verses every morning which I love to see. I also have this really cool app called Well Spent and it's just an awesome app where it lets you budget your money on here and so every time you spend something you can take it out. Say like I budget $70 a month for gas and so when I spend money on gas I just click it and I hope you all can see this let me turn up my brightness can you see that oh well, you can see that let's see so if you all can see that I just click on the gas button and then I just press add and let's say I spent $40 um, on gas that day so I just enter 40 and it would take off $40 from my gas budget. I also have stuff like fun, makeup and clothes, savings, cell phone, um, my Ipsy, stuff like that. So I love that. Well, my favorite app on my second screen is my Crazy Helium Booth app. And this thing is so fun to play with. You can choose um, owl eyes, square head, fat, square chin, big head. Let's do owl eyes. So then it lets you either choose like if you want to sound like a squirrel, a robot, a bear. Let's try a squirrel. So then it has, like I just have some big owl eyes right now. And so like I'm just going to talk to it and say, hi, I'm a beauty guru and I just like love YouTube and stuff. And so then you just press play and then you shut it off and this is my video. Like I'm just going to talk to it and say hi. I just love this thing. So it's free to download the light version. I think it's hilarious to send to your friends. So some other apps I have on my second screen are my Instagram, Snapchat, Pinterest, Poshmark, and YouTube app. Let's go back to Poshmark because that is one of my favorite apps ever. A friend told me about it when I was getting rid of some stuff in my closet. She was like, hey, why don't you sell it on this app called Poshmark? So I downloaded it and it's really simple. All you have to do is take a picture of what you want to sell and then you describe it and then you put how much you want to sell it for and people will buy it. I've already sold like five things on there and it makes me so excited. So it's kind of like Instagram. You have your own closet which is like your own profile on Instagram and I'll show you what's in my closet. I have sweaters, dresses, bathing suits, jewelry, shoes, and all that kind of stuff. So you can name your price and people either can make you offers or just buy it straight out. And I've sold a lot on here. So if you have clothes you want to get rid of, I would definitely download the app Poshmark. They give you a free shipping label, which is awesome. You can just drop it off at the UPS store and they'll send it to the person. So it is great. I also have my YouTube app on here, which comes in handy when I get bored. I love my Spotify app. I also have another like budgeting app. It's called Mint and that is really great too. You swipe your card and it just comes right out. You don't even have to enter it in like the other one does. So that's great. I also have my WhatsApp uh, my WhatsApp app, if that makes sense. It's super easy to talk to people in other countries. Um, it's for free. It's just like texting for free. I know there's a lot of apps out there like that, but this is probably one of my favorite. On my last page, I have my Trivia Crack app. I love that game lately. Like that is my favorite game to play ever. You can play against your friends or random opponents and it's just really fun. So let's see. 
Right now I'm going to play against Crystal. All you have to do is press spin. And I am terrible at these trivia questions, but it's still fun. So I got geography. Great, you all are going to make fun of me. So I'm going to press play. Bo is the international code for what country? B-O is the international code for what country? I only have 21 seconds. Let's see. I honestly have no idea. I'm guessing Bolivia. The other options are Botswana, Burkina Faso, and some other names I don't even know how to pronounce, but I'm in a hurry, so I'm going to press Bolivia. And that was right! I got it right! I'm usually a terrible guesser. So then you can go on to your next question, and then you get crowns, and that's how you beat your opponent. Um, so I love that game. What do I have? On my third page, I also have Facebook. I love to get on Facebook. I also love the game Heads Up. I have that app downloaded as well, and I think this was an app created by Ellen, and you can choose a category. Let's see. Let's choose Act It Out. So I choose Act It Out, and it says um, you can't say any words. Now you have to place it on your forehead. Sorry, it's really loud. And the people you are playing with have to act it out, and you have to try to guess what they're doing without them saying anything. So what is this? I can't even read what that's saying. So shopping. So like you would just pretend you're carrying a bunch of bags or something and I would have to guess what you were doing and I'd say shopping. So when you got it you'd flick it down and go to the next one and as many as you can get right um, your team wins. So it's a really fun game. It's free as well. Another one of my favorite apps is called Yumly. It's just a really great cooking app. It is so good for recipes, desserts, dinners, lunches, breakfast, anything you can think of it is on here. And let's see, what is my favorite? They have jambalaya, raw cashew cheesecake, like desserts that are just amazing. And they're super quick, so you say I want to make moist vanilla pound cake. It says there is eight ingredients in it, and you guys are not going to be able to see this, but okay, there's eight ingredients. Um, it says there's 350 calories and it takes about 75 minutes to prepare. I love it just because it tells you like it makes 10 servings and it tells you all the ingredients which makes it really easy to go shopping and to put all this stuff on your shopping list. So that is one of my favorite apps. I also have, let's see, Groupon. I have, oh, the AA game app is really fun as well. So what it is what you do is, I think I'm on a hard level, but it's fun. Um, it's like super simple, but it gets addicting. <clears throat> so I have to get rid of 30 of these little black ball things, and I do that by clicking, but I cannot touch the lines that are already on there. So I have to make sure not to hit them, and if I hit them, I have to start all over. It sounds so lame, <laughs> but it is so fun. I'm like, why did I not think of this app? Like, people actually put ads on here and make money off this. It's awesome. So, yeah, it's really fun. I mess up on a lot. I'm only on level 30, but if you guys download it, tell me what you think in the comments below because it's really fun. One last app that I love is the Duolingo app, and I was trying to learn Spanish for a while, and this really helps you out. Um... So it just teaches you the basics of Spanish and you can just keep going up a level. I am on the basics number two right now. So once I pass that, I can go on to food, animals, plurals, and possessions. And then you can just keep going up and up and learning Spanish. So I'll show you what I'm on right now. So lesson two of four, I'm learning ellos, ellas, beben, los, las, niños, niñas. So niños. how do you say boys? Niños. And so then you have to retype the word and it's really cool because it's like Rosetta Stone for free. Like you don't have to pay for Rosetta Stone. So that's really nice. So that is everything I have on my iPhone 6. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like these or you have any recommendations for videos you want me to do, please leave them in the comments down below and like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!